Hey, Karthik here with Dabble Lab and welcome to this brand new series on building bots with Dialogflow. This is the first video in a multi-part series and today we'll explore how to build a basic chatbot using Dialogflow. Before that, please note that this stuff changes very fast, so make sure you're watching the latest video. And the way to do this is by looking at the video description. If there's an updated video, follow the link and stop watching this one. Google's Dialogflow was earlier known as API.ai, which Google bought in 2016. Now this is basically a tool that helps understand what the user has said and converts it into a computer understandable syntax. So that means you can use Dialogflow to build chatbots without worrying about what the user has said or implementing any of the machine learning algorithms inside your app. So let's get started. So we'll head to the website, which is basically dialogflow.com and you can sign up for free here. Now, like me, if you have multiple Google accounts, I would recommend you use the incognito mode of your browser to access the site so that it becomes easier for you to test your bot. Since I have already signed up, I'm going to click on go to console here and just log in. Now, once I have logged in, you will see the welcome page here. And this is where you can create your agents. Basically, an agent is a chatbot in Dialogflow's terminology, and that's the term that we are going to use from now on. So I'm going to just click on create agent here. And let's just give a name for this agent. And I'm just going to give it space facts. Uh, spaces are not, uh, the space character is not accepted. So I'm just using an underscore here. And uh, this is the default language of your bot. I'm going to choose English EN, but you can choose any others. And you can add any of these languages later on as well. Um, let's choose a time zone. I'm just going to choose here GMT530. And this Google project here, create a new Google project. Now, this is important if you want to enable this agent as an action on Google, which is Google Assistant's App Store. Now, once you have done all those things, uh, we are just going to click on create here. And this is going to work and let's fast forward to this agent getting created now once the bot gets created this is our work area here and let's just take a quick walkthrough of how the work area looks like uh, this is basically uh, where you can see all the agents that you have created uh, you can create a new agent view all agents from here this is where the settings of the entire uh, the agent that you are currently working with you can see that here all the settings are available here then you can add a few languages from this part here and um, then you have a lot of other menu items like intents entities knowledge and so on and so forth now we will get, go into the depths of all these items in the later part of the videos um, video series but uh, for now let's get started with intents here think of intents as a functionality that your agent can do so if you had an agent that can help you with booking tickets or finding flights you would basically have two intents booking tickets and finding flights now Google already has a few intent here for example this is the default welcome intent let's click on this and see what happens here so if I click on the default welcome intent you can see a few training phrases here now the training phrases is what the user can say to invoke this welcome intent here so you can see that uh, if, if I said something like hello hi or hey this default welcome intent is what will get invoked but the power of Google's my machine learning is going to make sure that if I said something which is not in in this list of training phrases it's still going but it's something close to what these training phrases are it will still pick up pick that up and uh, default invoke this welcome intent now once we have got the training phrases the next part is at the bottom here you have a few responses so let's say uh, here are some responses that you can add like hi how are you doing um, hello how can i help you so now what happens is anytime your user says any of these phrases or something related to these phrases one of these responses will be sent back so that is how an intent works. Again, we are going to go into the depths of the, all these um, intents in a later part of this video. But for now, let's just save this and uh, let's try and create a new intent here. This is the intent name. I'm just going to call it get facts. Now, 
once I write it get facts here let's click on add training phrases here so my training phrases for this would be give me a space fact tell me a fact about space and tell me cool space fact you can add as much as training phrases that you want to add now the more the training phrases that you add the more accurate this entire machine learning model becomes so once we have added some training phrases here let's go ahead and have some responses and the way to do that is by clicking on add response here now i have a few space facts here which we can add into the text response here let's just add them one by one um, there we go i'm just going to fast forward to the responses getting added here all right so now that our responses have been added here and we have a few training phrases for this intent let's just go ahead and click on save so now once we do that you will see that there's an option here which um, there's a success message here which says the intent has been saved and then it also starts a training so every time you make any changes to the training phrases uh, there's going to be some changes to the model so the agent needs to be trained again and so now that it has been trained and successfully completed now is the time to test it out so let's there are two ways to test it out uh, one is this test console that you see at the right hand side so what i'm going to do here is let's just say um, get me a space fact now once i type in there you can see that um, th this is how the response looks like the user said something like get me a space fact and the response was one of the responses from the list that we provided now notice how i mentioned before that even if you say something similar to the training phrase google's machine learning model will pick it up so i just said get me a space fact which is not matching any of these but is somewhere similar to this last one here which is gave me a space fact so but we got the correct answer here now this is how the test console works and you can actually click on diagnostic info to see all the json that you get from here now this is one way to test it out but the other way to do that is by clicking on this link that you see here which is seeing how it works in google assistant that is basically if you made this agent as an action on google how would it work so let's just click on this link so now this is how the simulator looks like and you can see that this is a feature rich simulator you can see a lot of options here like location request response but for now we are just going to go ahead and test out our application here so i'm just going to click on talk to my test app i can click here or i can just type this as well all right getting the test version of my test app greetings how can i assist so you can see that our welcome intent just got called so what i'm going to go ahead and do something like tell me a space fact now i can also say this via the microphone but i'm just going to type this here and let's just press enter there may be life on mars and there we go we have our first action on google ready and we built all of this using google's dialogue flow now this was a getting started video to get an idea of how dialogue flow works as we go ahead we are going to go deep dive into a lot of advanced topics with respect to dialogue flow if you found this video helpful like it and subscribe to our channel so you get notified when we launch our next video as usual if you have any queries please leave a comment and we'll help you out with building your chatbot thank you